Deep Freeze can be purchased for both Windows and Linux systems. It locks them down and prevents unwanted changes to the operating system, kiosk style. We've been looking at methods of, you know, achieving a, a free open source alternative to Deep Freeze. Wonderful program created by Pharonix and that you can use in Windows and Linux or Unix environments to lock down a workstation. Um, we're, now we're just, you know, quickly remember that the way Deep Freeze works, when, once you install it, you set it, install all of your software, you configure everything the way that you want it, and then you install it and you freeze the system. And then if you put it out in public, you know, say it's a school or an office, um, you know, any changes made to that computer um, in a frozen state would be undone once you reboot it, or if you simply power it down and power it back up. Now this is a big time saver um, in a situation like a school or a public library or you know just you know a large company because typically you'll have hundreds or even thousands of computers sitting out in public unsupervised and these computers would very quickly fill up with spyware and malware just from people going to naughty websites or plugging in their infected flash drives or using infected CD-ROMs and things. They would become a breeding ground for worms and viruses and you would spend you know, all day just going around cleaning off malware and spyware and viruses and trying to undelete files that someone had deleted or broken and it, it would be an administrative nightmare if you didn't have a program like Deep Freeze to manage a large public network. So it's a great tool because it, you know, it simplifies management and you just hit the power button and now you can make, once you install it, you can make changes, you can boot into what's called a thawed state and then you can uninstall, um, you know, software, you can install new programs and things and make changes. Also, typically what you'll usually do is you'll freeze, say, you know, one partition that the operating system's on, but you'll leave other partitions that you make on that same hard drive thawed out so that you can boot it up and the operating system partition's frozen, but you can still download and save data and things and your work um, to the, the thawed out partitions. And you can even put it all on one partition and create what's called a thaw space with deep freeze such that that whole partition is frozen, but a certain amount of allocated space is thought out where you can save data and save changes, even in a frozen state. So it's a great tool. Offers is a free, open source Debian package similar to DeepFreeze and may be used on Linux as an alternative. Well, we looked at installing Lathe, which is a free open source alternative. Um, and this is another tool that you can use that has, it, it may be a, a bit more feature rich, um, or a little bit more like DeepFreeze. And so another free open source tool. One, add the repository for Office use sudo add app repository ppa tldm two seventeen slash tehutech.net. You can do sudo, and I, I um before we install it, I need to add the repository. And actually, I have already added the repository, but I'm going to do it one more time. So you know, in case the first time you know when you install this, you may need to add this repository here. Let me. Zoom in a little bit, that way maybe you can see that better. Um, just to be able to find the package, okay? And it's a personal package archive, so I'm going to go PPA, colon, and it's TLDM217. At least for now, it is for Ubuntu. Um, now, if this changes in the future, just Google it. Google for OFRS, OFRS, and Ubuntu. But right now, it's at tahootech.net. All right. And so I need to go out and find that personal package archive, and if necessary, you would have needed to add the key. And again, I've already added it, but if you haven't added, to, added it yet, then you'll need to do this first. 2. Update your repositories. Use sudo apt-get update. Okay, and then once you do that, I'm just going to clear the screen here. I need to go ahead and update my repositories. So sudo apt-get update. And, you know, just any changes I've made in sources or repositories I would want to do there and okay and now a little too big let me see if I can slide this up here there we go three install offers use sudo apt get install offers n okay and now I just want to install the package so sudo apt get install and um, the package name is o Ofris, and there are multiple languages, so I want to install the English language version. For me, that's easiest because it's sort of my native language there. <clears throat> All right, so it's installed. If prompted, say yes. Four, run the program. 
Use sudo offers n. Now that it's installed, I'm going to run it, and I want to use root privileges, so I'm going to say sudo offers in English. And notice what I can do here. I can freeze the system for this user. In this case, I'm logged in as C Germany. I could freeze it for a specified user or a series of users. I could freeze it for all users. I could unfreeze the system or view the, the status of the system. So let me look at the system status. And the system is not locked yet. All right. Run it again. And this time I'm going to freeze the system for all users. So I'm going to select option three. And in this case, um, system was successfully freezed. Please restart your computer now. So I'm going to do sudo and reboot. Okay, and now I've rebooted my system. And again, let me just kind of blow this up a little bit. And now, let me run it again. And were I to view the status, system has been locked. And so now any changes made to this system are only temporary. They're not permanent. So we're something to get past my firewall, my antivirus software, my CH root jail. My ultimate last line of defense or bastion against disaster and catastrophe is the fact that for most daily activities, I can run my system in a frozen state. I don't really need to make permanent changes to it. And on the few occasions where I do need to make a permanent change here and there, uninstall something or install something new or change something, I simply have to boot into a thawed state. And so to do that, I would run Ofris again. And just like you would if you were using Pharaonix Deep Freeze, I need to thaw the system out. So I'm going to unfreeze the system at this point. It's locked. I'm going to choose option 4. And system was successfully unfreezed. And now again I would just, you know, reboot my system and boot back into and this time a, a thawed state. For more tutorials, source code, examples and projects go to www.networkingprogramming.com. All material produced by Charles Germany in these videos is freely available to the public and offered in the spirit and principle of keeping with the GPL, GNU and copper left philosophy. As such it may be used and redistributed freely but not sold for proprietary purposes or profit.